Hello guys and welcome to another trek guide video and today we got Willow Springs in group 3 and for this one we are going with a BMW. I think it could be the best car for this one. You can use a couple of other cars but I just found this car kind of the best one you know to eventually get a good lap time. And of course as usual the tire choice is hard tires so that's pretty much it about this intro into the video. So without further ado let's get going. Okay guys, and let's get going with this track guide video, and usually I try to get the best possible exit out of the last turn because it gives me 20 30 thousandths of a second on the street. But here, just before the 50 meter sign, brake. But brake at about 50-60%, trying to trail brake all the way in. So the point of this corner is getting in as late as you possibly can, of course, with clearing all of that speed, and I wouldn't try to brake later than about 60 meters into the turn. So just before the 50 meter sign should be ideal here. Tap the brakes if you need to, not more than 15-20%, you're, you're just going to lose a lot of speed if you do more than that. Here, I'm looking at the trees down there in the distance, and this is a pretty interesting thing. I mean, it's, it's the only reference that you have around the circuit. I mean, there are a couple of other references around here, but that one was the most obvious, so yeah, that's what... I'm always using here. So here, break at the 50 meter sign, but turn at 20. So it's kind of a short breaking zone, which is usually straight. And I always try to get as close as possible to the curb right there. But if you stay on the brakes, you will get a lot of kind of eventually the car will start to slide quite a lot. So mid corner uh, braking is something that you should do, but also try to avoid it once the car is fully turned into the turn. So you're basically trying to slide, but not slide too much, um, you know, just to make it simple. So, but here, braking the straight line in the middle of the curb, but about 50-60%, that's just about enough. So you can maintain the speed, and eventually if you lose all of the speed, the car kind of gets bouncy and you have I mean, you really don't carry that speed. I lost a bit of speed, and I think it was kind of a loss at about 20, 30 thousandths of a second. It wasn't that much, but eventually, every thousandth of a second, it's kind of... It just means a lot here. But I'm looking at the 150, I'm starting to turn at the 150 meter sign, but just at the 100 meter sign, I tap the brakes. But this is a tap... I mean, it should be at about 20-25%, not more than that. Coast, downshift into 4th, and when you see the start of the curb, upshift into 5th and start accelerating. So this is something that okay. eventually is going to give you a good line, but it also comes down to the entry point, and it also comes down to the angle that you eventually take into the turn. So it does take a lot of practice to get this thing done. I mean, it's not easy, but eventually... Uh, I think you can get it down into 11s, 10s are pretty good, I think the world record now stands at the 10.6, it will, I mean definitely it will eventually come down, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, you can always smash the like button, I mean, that's pretty much all you have to do, I mean, you don't even have to do it, just if you, if you really, really want to, but guys, until the next time, bye.